the name that's above all name. We lift up a praise of, of gladness. We lift up a praise of joy. We lift up a praise of thanksgiving. We lift up a praise to our God because of salvation today, Father. So we glorify you, Father. We glorify you for your presence and your loving kindness. We glorify you, Father, for your name's sake alone because your name alone is excellent, Lord God. We we thank you for your for your blood, Father. Your blood is what has redeemed us, Lord God, from the hands of the enemy. So we say, Lord God, thank you. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for the resurrection, Lord God. We we want to thank you for our relationship, the sonship that we have with the everlasting and true God. We want to thank you for a refreshing that's going to happen tonight, Lord God, as we step into the place of heaven, as we step, Father, into the place, Lord God, of great intercession and moaning and groaning, Father, and the deep things and the mystery of your kingdom, Lord God. So we, we ask that you be with us. Holy Spirit, move through the hearts of the people tonight. Move on their minds and move on their hearts, Lord God. Eradicate our way of thinking tonight, Lord God. Allow the mind of Christ to be inside of us, Father. Allow us to be one as your son was one with you, Lord God. We just come to this place, Father, for this very purpose to intercede, Father. Intercede for the lost and the downtrodden, Lord God. To intercede, Father, for the homeless, Lord God. To intercede, Father, for the single mother, Lord God. We want to come to the place of intercession, Father, where your heart is, Lord God, because you are the great intercessor we just exalt the name we exalt the name of Jesus in this place we desire for your presence to be very near Lord God we we ask that you move into this temple father we we ask that there is reality Lord God of the moving father and the shifting of the Holy Spirit Lord God we we ask that there is an awakening father in the body of Christ as we stand in the gap, Father, for others, Lord God. But we ask that you stand with us, Lord God, on our behalf as we pray for others, Lord God, that don't know you, Father, or know the good things, Lord God, or, or your mighty right hand, Father. Oh, we just exalt you, Lord God, for your power, Father, for your strength, Lord God. We exalt you, Father, because you are a healer, Father. You are our Shah Shalom, Lord God. You are the place of refuge, Father. We thank you today that you are the place that we run to, Father, for strength, Father, to be restored, Lord God. We, we thank you for the newness of relationship with you, Christ Jesus. Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father. Abba Father, we cry out as a city would cry out. Abba Father, Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father, provider, 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 our source and our means of life. We cry out to you today. We ask, Lord God, that you just bring about a healing on this nation, Father. Bring about a healing on the minds of the people of God and also, Father, those who do not know you, Father. Allow us to walk upright, Father. Allow us to be the example, Lord God. For the sinner man, Father, allow them to see hope when they see us, Lord God. Allow them to see love when they see us, Father. Allow them, Lord God, to see the impossible to be possible, Father. We just exalt you in this place. We desire your presence, Father. Pater, Father, Pater, our Lord, our King, we ask that you just be in this place. Be in this place, in this earthly vessel. Stir up inside of us, Father, a fire. Stir up inside of us a desire to love. Stir up inside of us, Father, the need, Father, to receive correction, Lord God. We ask about a quick growth in the name of Jesus. Have us to love, Father, your word. Have us to love what's righteous. Have us to love, Father. What is holy and pure in your sight, Lord God? We're asking, Lord, that you come and sup with us as we stand in the gap. We are the intercessors. <laughs> we stand before heaven and hell today. We're calling out the lives of our family member. 
I'm calling out Nicole. I'm calling out Brad. I'm calling out James. I'm, I'm calling out my uncles. I'm calling out my aunties. I'm calling out my niece and nephews. I'm, I'm calling out their name for salvation today, Lord God. You have come so that none would be lost, Father. So we lift up every unbeliever to you, Lord God. We lift up, Father, everyone who's been in a broken relationship with you, Lord God. We ask that they, they are being restored, Father. We're asking that the backslider, Father, that you are married to us, Father, and you're calling us back to a place of union, of oneness in the body of Christ. We just exalt you tonight. I, I just feel your presence so strongly in this place. I, I thank you, Lord God, that you're doing something so great in our lives as we continue to be obedient, Father. I thank you for a willingness of mind to obey your word, Father, at whatever cost, Lord God. So we thank you for your presence. Your presence alone is causing us to love. Your presence alone is causing us to obey your word and to say yes and amen. We speak contrary to what the flesh is trying to compel us to do, Father. We think that darkness has no rule and reign over our life, but we have laid down our life for the, the God of this universe. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for those who are trapped in human trafficking that they are being set free. We thank you for those people whose minds are mentally disturbed, that you would bring peace. I think you would bring peace. Where all there's chaos and they can't seem to get control of their thoughts. We ask that your spirit come and and hasten and bring about an overflowing of your peace and joy because we're standing in the gap for the mentally disturbed because even some of us Lord even stand here being mentally disturbed we ask for healing in our minds and in our hearts we ask that there's a fresh wind blowing over our minds that will align us, Father, to your will and your way. We stand in the gap for our President Trump. That you will bring about, Father, a, a healthy mind of thought and decision making. We stand in the gap for our Congress, Father, our councilmen, our superintendent of our school system, our teachers, our instructors, the university, our faculty members. We ask, Lord God, that you go Father, and the places, Father, that where some of us never go, we ask that your spirit, Father, rest, rule, and abide in the places, Father, that we have yet even stepped foot on. But your spirit will be known in that place. We pray, Father, for Korea. We pray for Japan. We pray for Turkey, Lord God. We, we pray for the eastern region and the western region, Lord God. We pray for the northern region father and the southern region lord god we we pray that there is a great awakening in the body of christ father we pray that there are many muslims are being saved because a christian is nearby lord god and they are the example of of who you are father which is love father which is forgiveness lord god i thank you that you're moving on the minds and the hearts of your people i think that we're moving in power father not in numbers, Father, but in power and demonstration. We speak that your gifting, Lord God, of knowledge, Father, is being stirred up, Father. Your gifting of hospitality is being stirred up, Lord God. Your gifting of discernment, Father, is being stirred up. Your gift of prophecy is being stirred up in the body of Christ. I thank you, Lord God. Your gift of faith is arising in your people. We thank you that we are having a relentless spirit to go forth and pursue your kingdom at all costs, no matter the situation, the circumstance. I thank you, Father, for a listening ear for righteousness. I thank you that your love 
will permeate the hearts of everyone who's seated here, who's standing here. I thank you that your love will much abide, abound mightily. I thank you that you are coming for the resistant heart and the stubborn mind and the stubborn will for that husband, for that wife, for that child. That their heart, that hardened heart is being softened even now as we speak. I pray that there are no unforeseen and early death of your believers. For we all have assignments to complete. As we travel on the highways, we are very grateful that there has not been any accident or incident that would have taken our lives. We thank you that you have our gifting and our call being preserved and reserved, Lord God, for the perfect timing in which we will be utilized by you. Allow your spirit to arise in this place. Allow your spirit to arise in this place. We pray for the youth. We pray for their minds and their hearts. We come against all types of peer pressure. We speak the spirit of boldness upon their lives, upon their lips. They're able to speak and say, no, I, I'm a child of God. I can't say and speak these things. I can't allow you to touch my body in that way. Give them the spirit of boldness to say what you would have them to say. Allow them to be the example in their school system. Allow them to stand up for righteousness. Come in dreams and visions. Give them a one on one interaction encounter with heaven. Reveal yourself to no longer be a story that's being told, but allow the person of God. And your character be known in the hearts of your believers. We come against every hex, every vex, every dark spirit. That will come upon the assignment of every believer. That has tried to stall their forward motion. They're working in the kingdom of God. Those who've been idle and stagnant and not going forward. We eradicate, Father, every demon, every imp who have been in the way. We dispel every whisper of the enemy, every convincing argument of the enemy. He's been convincing your people what is truth. So we thank you, Lord God, his whispers and his convincing arguments have been dismissed in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you today. We see strategically what the enemy has done and what he's still trying to do. He's been trying to create a wedge between the shepherd and the sheep. The father and the child. The mother and the child. The wife and the husband. He's been presenting convincing arguments. We eradicate that enemy prosecutor 
the persecutor of darkness who's been persecuting our call and, and where we're to go and what we're supposed to speak and how we're supposed to live and the shame and the the condemnation that he's been bringing on the house of God's people. We dismiss his words of persuasion. And we thank you, Lord God, that the living word of truth will reign again. And as Apostle Paul had said, I will learn how to apply what I've learned in your word. I will know how to respond in times of trouble. we as believers, Lord God, respond saying nothing, no thing is impossible through Christ Jesus. Right. It's through your name that we have already overcome. It's through your name that every shepherd doesn't fall to depression. It's through your name that every teacher, every apostle, every bishop, every evangelist has overcome. It's through your name that they will have strength and endurance. It's through your name. Every lay person, every leader, it's through your name that there is no thing that's impossible through Christ Jesus. This is the secret, Lord God, that in all my troubles, I've learned to be content because I know a secret. It's through the name of Christ Jesus that I have power to do all things I have power to do all things the believer has power to do all things there's no sickness that befall me there's no danger that befall me there is no sin that befall me that I can't overcome Because I hold a secret. Apostle Paul said, I know a secret. This is the mystery. This is the treasure. The secret. In times of trouble. I'm content. I'm content. I'm content. Everyone has left me and turned their back. I'm content. No one understands me. I'm content. I sacrificed and laid down my life for Christ. I'm talked about and ridiculed. I'm content. I have nothing. I have no money. I'm homeless. I'm content. Because I have a secret. I have a secret. And my saddest moments. And my deepest despair. I have a secret that I turn to. 
Oh, hallelujah. I have a secret that I turn to. And my most deepest time of despair, I have a secret. The time I'm hurting the most, my heart is broken. I have a secret that I turn to. All things are possible through Christ Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 All things. I don't care what it is today. God told me to tell you all things. are possible through Christ Jesus I stand in a place of content being content in my ways of thinking be content in my condition being content in chaos the chaos doesn't affect me affect the chaos I seek to praise the Lord when it seems like nothing's going on just look to your secret Grab a hold of your secret again. When it seems like your passion is not there anymore. Your love for the word is not there anymore. Reach back for your secret. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the peace of Jerusalem we thank you for your underground churches it's being persecuted we thank you we thank you Lord God for your servants who will serve you unto physical death we thank you that they will continue to be bold father even in the eye of the final moments of life that they will know it's still yet all worth it it's still yet all worth it. We thank you that you're bringing about our strength and power and your worshipers. Your psalmists, your dancers, Those who wave the banners, the flag carriers. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Have them not grow weary, Lord God, in well doing. Those who serve, have them not grow weary. Hospitality. Media. The teachers have your spiritual leaders not grow weary. Give us more of you, Lord. Give us more of you. Immerse us with your your glory and mercy with your love and mercy with your mercy and mercy with your passion take every believer back to the place that they first met you Take us all back. 
we all need to go back. When nothing else matters but serving you. Nothing else matters but another soul getting into the kingdom of God. Nothing else matters. We could serve all day and night and we, we weren't attached to time. Take us back to that passion of love, of laboring in your kingdom. When we were excited, elated to talk about your word, to expound on your word, to say sweet things about, to say, don't you remember when you, when you was in the world and what he delivered you from? Take us back to where we were before we even met you, Lord God, and the, the love that came and snatched us out of the hands of the enemy. Take us back to those places of desperation. Take us back to a time when you were really important to us. Take us back where we first started. When we felt that serving you was such an honor. Such an honor. Such a privilege to serve. Not man, but to bring you glory. Such an honor to greet, open the door for the saints to come in, house of God. Such an honor. Such an honor to embrace another believer. To say, yes, you're in the kingdom with me. Such an honor. Such an honor, Lord God. When someone gave their life to you. How it used to bring us so much joy. Such an honor just to pray. To bring heaven to earth. Such an honor to see Holy Spirit move and demonstrate himself strong. Such an honor to bow down. Such an honor. of ourselves as we are. Such an honor to call you Lord. Such an honor to call you Lord our God and our King. Such an honor. That you would call us your own. That you would call us your own. We thank you that you would visit us today and make yourself known. Thank you. Blessed us with a shepherd who's full of your love. He's patient with us as you are. He loves us enough to correct us. He won't allow us to go wayward and be lost and devoured by the enemy.
breathe over his mind, breathe over his heart, breathe over the words that he would speak and to the hearts of your people. We turn this service over to you, Holy Spirit. Move through our men of God. The shepherd over this house. unto us.